actual research. Hello, hello, hello. Howdy, Chocobo. How you doing to my to might? How are you doing tonight, my guy? As always, I can't do words. Words are tough, man. Honestly, I wish we could all just like interact through telepathic thought. Of course, then, you know, somehow you would fumble that as well. Or at least I know I would. That's for sure. Anyways, more one, man. Hello to the YouTubes and things. We were doing things. Uh, <laughs> uh, pilgrimage. That's what we were doing. We were doing a pilgrimage. Oh, I left a note. Going to Nessus for pilgrimage. Check books. Okay. Yeah, so I actually remembered that we were doing it. I forgot about the note, though, until I saw the little red pop-up. So that was handy. Can I, like, delete it? I can. Delete note. There we go. I like that. That's a good way to remind me of what the hell we're doing from week to week. Uh, okay, apparently, though, we're going to Nissus for the next ahead, one. Do we have cash, or are we... We have 146. So we have some cash, but not a ton. That should hopefully be enough for... Whatever we're gonna need once we get to Nissus. Nate, what's up, my guy? Hello, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you tonight, my guy? I, <laughs> I'm assuming you got a good case of poison ivy, though. <laughs> just, just a guess, you know. But <laughs> I hope it's not too bad, man. That's never fun. My nose is a little bit stuffy at the moment, by the way. Not a ton, but a little bit. So excuse me if I sound a little congested. Uh, we've been to Nissus before. How did we get there? Was it by boat? We might have gone there before by boat, but we can just go to, like, Aldrune. We could probably just run up there. Is that an option? Travel. It is. Sure, let's just go there. And then we'll just run up. Maybe we can, uh, get a little more, you know, like, exploration and stuff done. Or wait, was this where? No. I was thinking this is where we did the pants, but I don't think this is where we did the pants. Oh. Wait, did I just... Did the Hackle Leaf just get deleted? <laughs> I grabbed it and then I pressed escape because I was thinking like, oh, it'll just go to our inventory. Um, but it didn't. Do we have... I mean, we do have four, so maybe it picked it up. We have some kind of rash in your arm already was around a pred, <laughs> pred bison. <laughs> Man, <laughs> going straight for the... Straight. Straight for the bison treatment, huh? My guy. Hope you survive. <laughs> oh, man. No, whatever it is, I hope it gets uh dealt with soon, because... Rashes are never fun. Uh, although, I'm assuming it's not uh, Poison Ivy if you've had the rash for approximately a week now. I'm not going to pretend to know much about anything, but uh, I don't think they usually last for like a week. Hello. Oh, you're diseased. I'm glad we didn't Speak get sick. Up. Hi, why are you all the way out here? Please, can you help me? My husband and I were traveling through here. We were attacked by a pack of wild Nyx hounds. There were at least three of them. They seemed to come out of nowhere. My husband, Dreryl Indorin, tried to fight them off, but they were too much for him. And he was forced to flee. I tried to play dead in hopes the hound would find no sport in me. I just hope I can find Dreryl before the hounds come back. I guess I'll look for your husband. You're willing to do that? Thank you so much. I'm sure he didn't go too far because the hounds seemed to have hurt him. If I remember correctly, he ran off to the west, but in all the confusion, I couldn't be sure. Okay. So west. So this way? Nope, that's a rat. I thought maybe it was uh, a hound. Well, there's a couple hounds.
Uh, excuse me. There you go. Do you guys have like bits of human in you or or elf in you? Have you been eating the elf meat? Is that a person riding a thing? No, I think that's just a thing. Whatever kind of thing that is. Anyways. She said to the west. We're heading west. Keeping our eye out for a person. Eczema or psoriasis maybe? Maybe. Maybe. The mud like... No, the mud doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, is that a... No, that's the next town we just killed, ain't it? Yeah, that's a dead one. I thought it was a live one. I mean, she said she doesn't believe he got too far, would have gotten too far, due to the injuries. So I was thinking, like, around here somewhere, maybe? I wonder, like, would he be on the road? And then, like, there was there, there were those two Nyx hounds back there. Hmm. It's possible we've been duped. Oh. Is that another Nyx hound? I believe that's another Nyx hound. There's another one there. I'm just kind of following the Nyx hounds at this point. Hoping for the best, you know? <laughs> like. Oh, shit, my bad. I had not. Oh. Bro, why are you no hit? Okay. Oh, I thought he might have been uh, diseased. Not gonna lie, but he was good. He is not diseased. Hmm. You're not people. Another Nick sound though. Just gonna, just gonna keep following them, dude. And vaguely going left. Or west, rather. <laughs> left is relative. West is absolute. No, 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 no. Nothing. I'm waiting until, like, we find out that I just walked right past him, dude. Because I'm blind as shit. I fully expect that to be the case. Might as well collect some thorns to eat. <laughs> or trauma root, whatever. I don't want to, like, not do the quest now. Because if I don't do the quest now, I'm going to forget about it. Decide to search for Drell Indrin. Thalanu doesn't figure he got too far. He was injured by the next town. I can only hope I'm able to find him before he succumbs to his injuries. She was unsure, but she believes he fled to the west. Yeah, and that's all we really get from her. Well, there's this little square here. Chunk, if you will, that we haven't discovered yet. Uh, it should be popping any second now, though. It'd be nice if we could, like, I don't know, hear him yelling or something. I hear something, but I don't think it's the sound of Nick's sounds. It sounded almost like digging or something, to be honest. I wonder, is there like, there's probably a road. I wonder if he would have just followed the road. Seems like almost too easy, but it would also be very convenient if he did. Oh, hi. <laughs> I literally didn't see this dude down here. I was just looking all around us like, yo, I hear the music. Where is it? We found it. You're gonna die. Oh, you... You are a bastard, I want you to know. But now you're a dead bastard. Hmm... 
Okay, now I'm like half lost. Where was this chick? Made your drink a little too strong this time? Oh no, you poor thing. Just uh, dump half of it into a glass and then add uh, more orange juice. There you go. Oh, you're in the bath? Okay. Wait, is that the thing giving us battle music? You? Do you want to fight me, bro? <laughs> Why are you, like, chasing me down from all the way over there? Okay. Well, you're dead now, so I hope that worked out well for you. Okay, this is north, right? <laughs> like, up on the map is north. I think it rotated somehow or something. Is that a uh, Nick sound up there? Why wouldn't you run towards the town, though, honestly? Assuming this happened, like, around here where she's at, wouldn't it made more sense to just go over the hill to the town? Maybe they're not familiar with the area. Bro, for real? <laughs> what the hell, dude? Bro! <laughs> I can't hit shit! Okay, we're hungry. Should eat some fucking rat meat right in front of this rat and let him know who's boss. Okay, what about Northwest? I just saw another Nyx hound up here. That's why I decided to check this way. I don't have much hope, though. That it's here. Or he's here. They're here. The group of them. You're a dick. Bro, if these things weren't so damn hard to hit, they wouldn't be so bad, but I feel like they have, I don't know if it's a high agility or what, but man, they're a pain in the ass. Oh shit. Team Riley's, we were fully healed. What are we getting? Big eyes, little eyes? Looks like big eyes. Yeah, there you go, love. I think you'll like this one. <clears throat> Ooh, what is that? There's that sound again. It's like rocks crackling or something. It's a weird sound. No gonna wait until we hit the next tile or chunk or whatever but I don't think it's gonna be up here <clears throat> maybe if we just follow the road towards Nissus which is west ish northwest That's still working under the assumption that it happened anywhere near the road, though. Or he stopped anywhere near the road, or whatever the case may be. To be fair, we're not really doing a good job sticking to the road anyways. We're kind of, we're kind of just all over the place. I mean, this is pretty far west, dude. For somebody that is apparently being hunted by Nyx hounds and gravely injured, I feel like this would be an awfully far ways to run. To be fair though, I mean, what do I know? Could be completely wrong. Also, that cliff racer looks just a wee bit stuck. We'll just leave him be. Looks like he's got his own business to attend to.
Oh, there's another Nick sound. Are you diseased? You are. You're blighted, even worse than diseased. Thankfully, I don't think we caught the blight. Pretty sure it pops up instantly. Ugh, let's hope the ones that attack that dude, none of them were blighted, because... If they were, he's probably, like, dead dead, dude. I don't see him making it out of that too easily. I'm not seeing anything, man. No Nick sounds, no people. Just something in the distance over there. Nah, maybe it's just the shadows in the game playing tricks with on me. Check the other side of this ridge. Could be over here somewhere, I suppose. Trying to think like when we ran through here before, because obviously we've unlocked part of this map, so we've come through here before. Trying to think if we saw a dude and some Nick sounds around here anywhere. Oh, we're out of Magicka. Um. I don't suppose you saw a dude running through here getting attacked by Nick Sounds, did you? May I help you? Uh, trouble with bandits, mud crabs, no. None of that. I mean, I wouldn't mind helping you with your trouble with bandits. But I'd really like to finish this quest first, the one I'm on. Feeling like it's a lost cause, though, man. Wait, we didn't get anything else from her, help-wise. Search for da da da. While wandering near Odrun, I found the person who had apparently been attacked by a pick pack of Nyx hounds while traveling with her husband. It seems that Falanu attempted to play dead when the Nyx hounds attacked, while her husband. Try to fight them off. The hounds were too much for him, though, and he was chased off by them. She fears he may be dead. Was afraid to look for him for fear of being attacked again. I've decided to search for Jureril. Falanu doesn't figure he got too far as he was injured by the Nyx hounds. I can only hope I am able to find him. Yeah. Believes he fled to the west. Personally, I feel like we're pretty far west at this point. What the chance are if we go back and find her again? If we just walk like due west, <laughs> I wonder what the chances of us finding him are. I mean, it is a very hilly land. It's quite possible that we just overlooked him somewhere in all this mess. But we spent like the whole day searching for him to no avail. Not so much as a peep from the guy. More foragers. A lot of foragers around here. Fuck me, dude. I am awfully tired as per usual. wonder if we should make camp. I hate, like, potentially leaving this guy to die. Because we're too busy making camp. But at the same time, like, I don't see him anywhere. And it's getting real dark, man. It makes it even harder to find anybody or anything. Yeah. It might be time to take a nap in the game. Sleep through the night. Ooh. 
Wait. You feel well, well rested? Duration 12 hours? Bro, did the game just glitch? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'll take the well-rested perk, thank you, but we literally didn't do anything for it. Get wrecked. You're just running around in circles. I thought we leveled up something until I saw the message. Screw it. Let's take a nap, man. Right, right here. This place has a pretty nice view. Sleep until eight in the morning. Sounds good. Oh nope. Okay. Do we see anything? No. She. I'm not mistaken, is right around there. So we're probably pretty far south at this point. I feel like that just goes to show, though, that we've done a pretty good job of, like, canvassing the entire area. I, mean, I guess it's possible that he's just farther away than what I expect. I guess that's perfectly possible as well. Racers. Garbo. I hate cliff racers, man. They're just annoying because how. Well, it's got. Gonna... <laughs> I almost said how tall they are, but it's not a height thing. Just... Because they fly. <laughs> I hate them because they fly. We're going to try the running due west from her thing. See if we find anything. Wait, is that a person? I could have swore I saw something up this road here. But now I'm almost feeling like I might have just been seeing things. Shit, dude. Yeah, no, I think I was just seeing things. It was right around here that I thought I saw something. Yeah, I think my eyes are just playing tricks on me, like, as the things are loading in and whatnot. Because for a moment, I thought I saw something again right around where these rocks are. But no, it's like, it's empty, man. There's nothing here at all. Besides this bastard. But he doesn't really count. Oh, there's another wood. We'll kill you too, that's okay. Where was she? Bought our course due west. Hope for the best. is hi you spoken Falanu? then she's alive let's get back to her quickly bro you were hiding literally found you by luck now where is she <laughs> she was around here somewhere right might be, I think it's the next ridge. Yeah, I think it was just over this ridge. Bro, that was honestly some amazing luck. Super happy we found him like that. Didn't expect him to be hiding, like, behind rocks. Though I guess it makes sense. He was, you know, scared for his life, injured by Nick's hounds, whatever. What do you want? Oh, really? <laughs> Bro. Thank the gods, we found her. I never thought I'd see her again. You finding me has truly been a blessing. Thank you so much for your help, Stream the Barbarian Weenie. Wish I had more to offer you, but please take this book. It has meant so much to the two of us. I can only hope you find as much enjoyment as it is we have. Thank you. Take care. 
Sorry. Can't stop. A Dance in Fire Chapter 2. Quick, Outlander. Is it at least a skill book? It is. And Block, a handy skill too. Uh, I'm not going to read all this. If other people want to, feel free. But I am not reading all that. It, okay. Especially if it's this fucking long, dude. Holy hell. 20 pages, 22 pages. I'm going to say it's like 34, dude. <laughs> 28. 28 pages, or 27, rather. Uh, okay. Well, thank you, both of you. Quick and up, back to what I we were originally this. doing. Going up to Nissus. Oh, damn it. Y'all respawned already? That's why we shouldn't dispose of corpses. But I'm worried, like, if we don't dispose of the corpse, that the game should just end up, like, breaking, you know? Like, grinding to a halt from all of the random courses laying all over the world. That's why I've been trying to, uh, dispose of them more lately. Even though it does mean more... The annoying, uh, random... Not random encounters, but, you know... Encounters with weak mobs while we're running around. If they didn't chase you for literally forever, I'd consider just running away from them. Instead of fighting some of them, but like... These things have no... Zones, man. It's just like... You spawn in this general area, but... You can go clear to the other uh, end of the world map if you like. If it means getting your kill, man, who cares? Okay, we're heading for that dot. The larger dot, right? Yes. And again, I'm pretty sure we could have taken a boat, but then we never would have found like that random quest we just did with a free block skill, man. Free any kind of skill is amazing. That looks like a place. A whole place. Rats, foragers, or whatever these ones are called. A diseased scrib. Gross. We'll leave you alone. We're not a fan of disease. Especially blight. Blight is rude. I guess if we had come across that person with the bandit problem again, we could have helped her out, but... Or him? I think it was a her. I don't really remember where she was other than this, like, general region. And I'm not going to hunt her down either, so <laughs> it's fine. We'll come across her again eventually, I'm sure. Also, I was looking on the uh, the save menu, or well, the load menu rather, but either way. Does that mean we've been playing for 24 hours? Like 1 hour, 55 minutes, 26 seconds? Because that that's, or 1 day, 0 hours, 55 minutes, 26 seconds. That's my best guess. I just find it hard to believe that we've already been playing for more than 24 hours. If that's true, nearly 25. Presumably, that's not counting, like, all of the time we've wasted from, like, dying and have to redo stuff, right? Because that's just the time spent in that one save file. Seems like a lot, man. I feel like we've hardly actually accomplished anything, <laughs> like... Like, I still feel weak 90% of the time. I'm still not sure we're far enough. Like, a high enough level. I'm not sure we're good enough at this game to take on, like, the story quests and things like that. It's just crazy, man. 24 hours. You're a dick. You're addicted to me. Heals. More heals. Heals for days because it gives us things. Wait, what is this? 
ball, Isra? Wait, is there a ball? Or not a bog? Is there a uh, thing around here? A shrine or something? Oh. Oh, game hitched real bad. Quick save in case it crashes, please. I don't see anything on the local map. And again, I guess we're a little bit too far. Fuck you, dude. I really wish we could run up these hillsides. Just a little bit better. Come on, man. It's not even that steep. Going this way? Oh, it's a it's a location. Was this like a old abandoned town or something? Are we on top a town? Oh, not J. Tab. I guess there's no other doors being mock marked or anything. Hmm. Curious. Oh, God, no, dude. Zoom that out a little bit. There we go. It's a bit better. I swear, the past couple of days, man, I've been, like, falling asleep at my desk. I think Noodle secretly slipping something into my my dinner that night man <laughs> like it is insane i'm pretty much always tired but lately it's just like falling asleep tired which isn't something i do all that often hello you Make who's angry point. you're angry are you gonna help no okay just leave it all to me i guess Get wrecked. Kind of hoping they'd fall on top of these people. Uh, you have nothing. Hello. Also Speak have nothing. Traveler. <laughs> you stuck, boy. Speak, traveler. Bro, come on. Oh, die, will you? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Try to get this a little, a little more uh, even here. There we go, man. Get wrecked. Where's this other person at? I don't know you. What do you want? Uh, that's a good question, man. I uh, don't want anything. I was just saying hello. You know, being a friendly neighbor. That's all. Here we could both use the opportunity to learn the other a little more. But I guess he wasn't a fan of that. Back around we go then. Oh, we need to walk a little bit, man. We're gonna run out of fatigue or stamina or whatever you want to call it. Is there no road here that leads like toward Nissus? Pokemon Red, let's go! I'm not gonna lie, dude. I'm super excited for the Nuzlocke. <laughs> I have been since I started playing Crystal before my pocket got stolen. Um, I've been super excited for it since about that time. I'm still very upset I'm not gonna get a finished Crystal right now. And I don't even know if I own Crystal digitally or not. I can't remember. I know I own Red, Blue, and I'm pretty sure Yellow digitally. And I think gold and silver. Pretty sure I bought both of those digitally. But I can't remember if I ever bought Pokemon Crystal digitally or not. I mean, I'm going to get another copy one of these days. It's not like forever gone sort of thing, but it's just not a cheap game. So it sucks that it disappeared, man. Well, <laughs> disappeared's a nice way of putting it, I guess. But, you know. Oh, hi there. 
Boy. <laughs> You're dead now. About time we get to some like normal terrain. I say as I face down a cliff. You guys aren't the angry type, right? You guys are, you're chill. I'm pretty sure you're chill. I wonder what school of magic is the levitate spell. So honestly, that's the one I want the most. Outside of healing, just levitation. Stamina would be nice too. A nice stamina spell. Health, stamina. Eventually, we're probably... Uh, I was going to say we'll probably want a soul trap spell, but now we probably want a weapon with soul trap on it. Whenever we eventually learn how to do enchanting stuff. That's probably going to be a ways off still, though. We hardly know how potion making works, how alchemy works. I don't want to jump the gun too much. Is this Nissus, right? I'm pretty sure it is. What else would it be? Yeah, no, okay. I guess we could check the book. Is there anything we need before we go to Nissus? Like, uh... Any kind of potions or, I don't know, ingredients like we did at that one. Uh, Shrine of Justice is guarded within the Nissus Temple. Okay. Northwest by road. You addressed the shrine as customary to leave a potion of cure common disease. So we need a potion to cure common disease, but so far, like, all of the pilgrimage locations sold stuff right there for what you needed, so I can't imagine this one will be any different. They'll most likely have potions. Oh, excuse me. Potions to cure common disease right there at the temple. Not only because, you know, you need it for the pilgrimage, but also just it seems like a pretty uh, common potion type. Temples are pretty well known for healing the sick and the needy. So a potion to cure common disease would be right at home. Honestly, it would probably be more weird if they didn't have any there. We're chill, bro. We're chill. Don't mind me. Just making my way through. Some beautiful water features. That's just okay. Must be a water source for the town, maybe? Okay, over here somewhere is where we found the naked dude, I'm pretty sure. Where's the actual temple portion at? Is it that big building there? That makes sense to me. Temples tend to be pretty large. Take. Is that a temple or is that just a city wall? <laughs> Might actually just be the city wall, the thing we've been looking at this whole time, but you know, the temple can't be too far behind. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, no, this could be the temple. Baranda's. Wait, wasn't Baranda? Didn't that pop up somewhere too? Is that like another place we need to go, maybe? The one after Nissus? Mouse just freeze? Yes, it did. Okay, it's back. Uh. 
on the seacoast west of the ancient stronghold Barandus and south of Nissus. Okay. Seacoast west of here, there's a cave. Oh, wait, what do we need for it, though? Because they all need something. Cave mouth faces south towards the sea and is marked by a large natural arch of stone. Region is wilderness and finding the cave mouth can be difficult. Drow within the cave itself are fearsome enemies. Only experienced capable adventurers should attempt to reenact the epic battle with the Drow in the cave. Drow wax may be bought at the temple in Nissus. When you address the shrine, it's customary to leave a portion of wax as a token of a vex a victorious struggle with a ruddy man. Uh, I mean, if there's drow or whatever in there, though, couldn't we just... I don't know. Collect wax from them? Also, is it just me or does that look like an arch? I'm wondering if that's where the cave is. So this is some shit weather. We should probably take a nap soon. Yeah. Getting out of this thunderstorm would probably do us a lot of good. Is there anywhere around here we can maybe get out of the rain? Well, not you. You're friendly enough. No, it said that the opening faces south. So it would face that way. So it's definitely not that one. There's a lot of arches around here, though. Could be any of them. The worst part is we probably found it before whenever we were just like trying to get out of this area or trying to get to Nissus from wherever we were before. We probably came across it and then just never paid any attention to it. It's like at the time, why would we, right? If we kill you, we can probably take a nap on this little, like, place here. I don't think the game will have any problems with that. Yeah, no, that's fine. It is 4 p.m. Hopefully rain will be gone in 14 hours. Uh, I don't know. If anything, it almost seems like it's gotten worse. Maybe sleep another four. Oh, it's brighter out. The weather doesn't appear to be clearing, though. Tell you what. 24 more hours. Rest. Okay, well, we were attacked in the night, but... The stupid storm is gone, so pick up the tent. Take a couple swigs, because I'm sure we're thirsty after <laughs> sleeping for 48 hours. We're still hungry. I don't have any cooked food, do I? That's dumb of me. Um... Eat some raw egg. That worked. Honestly, with it being raw, I wasn't sure if it would, but... On the seacoast west of that place, so it can't be much farther. Because that's... Pretty sure that's the place that it said it was west of. Doing a lot of west lately. Ooh, that looks like an arch, maybe? No. It looked like a man-made structure, and the way it was curved, I was like, oh, that could be an arch. It's not an arch. That was just there to get our hopes up. No other reason for it. Oh, fine. Kill the slaughterfish. 
nothing else, I'm getting more armor experience. Oh, damn, dude, there's another one? Where are you at, you little bastard? Okay, seriously, though? Should probably fell for water while we're here. That makes sense. Not gonna see much from here. Opening faces south, so... Maybe by walking north this time, we'll actually see it. And it did say along the sea coast. So I'm thinking like here and not that string of islands, small islands over there. It's all Todd made. I'm not even sure what I said. <laughs> I'm sorry, my guy. Noodle, thank you for the five bits though, love. I appreciate that. That's an arch, but... No cave or anything over here, right? You know, that's just like a, an arch along the, the road. Back to the seacoast. I mean, there is that. But its opening definitely doesn't face south. It faces like the opposite of that direction. But a little bit more. Yeah, it's like northeast, man. Definitely not south. This so, man, you were just making a Todd out. I still don't remember <laughs> what I said. Sorry. <laughs> I am very, very sleepy. And as we all know, my memory shit as is. Ow. Can't collect none of that? It sucks. I think if I just keep following the edge of the water, we'll get there eventually. Is that or Nissus? And I mean, we are almost to Nissus. Rue, thank you for popping in, my guy, and have a good night. Hope you get some good rest, man. You, you deserve it. Get a good nap in for me while you're at it. I feel like Fireball is probably not best option against them. We need something that takes less uh, less stamina to use. It's weird that we get like enchanting skill when we just use enchanted items. You would think it would only be, like, buy enchanting items or something, but it doesn't seem to be the case in this game. Keep following the road. What time is it, anyways, in game? I can't remember where it says. Hmm. Oh, well. Um, oh no. We might have to toggle God mode just to get out of here, dude. What am I being attacked by? You? How did you get over here? Wish I could be small enough to fit through here. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on. Oh, thank fuck, dude. I guess we could check that one. It's the only opening we've seen. I just really don't think that's it. Because it doesn't seem to face south. And I don't really see any archway other than, you know, the door itself being arched at the top. What is that? Is this just a rock formation or a plant? I think that's just a weird rock formation. Pretty sure. 
No, 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 Mr. Slaughterfish. You're rude. Like, this is, weapon really sucks when we're not using the enchanted version. The bound pick, or er, dagger. Are you two going to be friendly? So I'm really not looking for a fight here. I'm just curious if this is the place I'm looking for. Hmm. Oh, okay. Not really what I expected, but... Fair. I mean, all these little, like, dots of islands, it would make sense for it to be formed by some volcanic activity. Is there any drow in here, though? Um, I guess left. Hmm. Oh, you're a person. Uh, I'm, am I dead? Are you a person? Well, hello? <laughs> what was that? I think it was a person. Is it like a Khajiit or something? It was making some growling noises and shit. Now it's not the time to fail casting the spell. We need the health back before death. No magic. Um, I mean, we're okay. Oh, it's an ash zombie. Oh. Uh, I don't think this is where we were meant to be. I'm very curious what's in here now, though. Wish I could see just a little bit better. Uh, just keep going left, I guess. Wait, have you seen us from all the way over there? Dude. Are you gonna chase us forever, though? Oh, shit. Hi. Fuck, dude. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Wait. Oh, we forgot to save the last time. West Gash region? Okay, no. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, that auto save is fine. I'm going to make a manual save now, though, after... Oh, because we got woken up in the middle of the night. That's why. Yeah, we were sleeping for like 24 hours. Woke up in the middle of the night. I remember now. Okay, pick that up. Eat. And drink again. E R eggs and some greens it should take care of everything. Okay. Now properly save. There we go. Okay, definitely not that cave. Man, am I glad just to be able to like see again though. Nice bright light. skill it's gonna say we'll just skip it and come back to this one later but then I remember this is literally part of our active quest though <laughs> that we're doing okay apparently it's noticeable by its arch there's an arch but I don't see any cave around here to go in there's the place again. There's another arch right over here. Would this path lead right to it? Oh. Uh, maybe. 
Yeah, that's a southward facing entrance and it's the coal cave. Look at that, dude. Here Vivek defeated Ruddy Man, the god of the drow. drow. Vivek showed his people how to make armor from the wax of the drow. Um, okay, so can we find wax here? Instead of going and buying some. So I'm assuming like, there's going to be drow in here, right? So surely we can just like fight them and take their wax. Why is these fern looking things aren't something we can harvest? You're a dick, slaughterfish. Um. Uh. Please, please die. Please die. Okay. You didn't drop anything, though. Uh, do we have a water breathing potion? Haha, we do! Potion water breathing. Not very good ones. It's only for 15 seconds, but. That'll be enough for what we need right now. Oh, that's just a slaughter fish. Okay. Health. Mm. 10 for 5. Standard restore health, yeah. I didn't realize they were underwater creatures. That makes this a lot harder. Do they ever, like, surface? Could I find some up here? Dead adventurer. Ooh, steel pauldrons? Steel everything. Leather right bracer. Is that worth... Not really. Pure steel helmet? Spear of light? Cast when strikes light, 20 points for 15 seconds on target. I don't think that's really good. I don't know what light is exactly. Um, but yeah, no, I don't think that's particularly good. 1798, that's pretty valuable. Do we have like a strength buff? No, okay. I just want to make sure, like, our carry capacity wasn't going to fall after we pick up all this stuff. This is five times more. That's almost five times. It's only double. It's almost four times. It's only double. I guess I'm going to take that, too. Okay. Take that stuff. Thank you. This cave would have been a lot easier if we had just went and bought some wax. Okay, that's where we fought the one at, so I want to keep going this way. I'm just going to keep following the left wall and hope for the best. Or kind of following the left wall, at least. We do have one more potion of water breathing if it comes down to it. It's really hard to see in here. Ooh, okay, there's another one, but I need to catch my breath. Oh god, dude. Okay. You... Kinda s What? Did it get a crit on us? How did it do so much damage all of a sudden? Okay, well, we know where it's at now. We go back in swinging again? I think so, man. Yeah, we're gonna We're gonna try again. We got this. We can take them. I think I'm gonna try the dagger again though. The dagger has done us well in the past. We just gotta hope to actually get a wax drop from one of them. 
Because if not, then that's really going to suck. Either way, though, at least now we know, like, where it's at. And that it's actually really easy to get to. So we can just run over there and buy the stuff if we need to. Oh, this this area of the ma map's even called Coal Cave Entrance. I'm just dumb. I thought this was all just Nissus. I take, thank you. Okay. We want Demon Tonto. What is this? Is this anything? Oh, wait, you. Still gonna take all the mushrooms, though. Because, like, come on, dude. Well, maybe not all of them, but a bunch of them. Yes, come to me. That's perfect. Just come fight me on land, dude. No, why'd you run away? Come back. Dude, that was so much better. Too bad he just did not care. Like, at all. <laughs> um. Okay. There was another one. Oh, it's just a slaughter fish. You. Nice. Hey, and we got the wax. Okay. Uh, dispose of your corpse. But wasn't this where we found the man? Yeah, I still want your stuff. Oh, different this time. Ah, whatever. Can we just carry everything? Trollbone helm? Yeah, whatever. We can carry everything. I feel like his stuff was worth more last time, but whatever. We got what we came for. Now, the real question is, do we risk going deeper? Just to see if we can find anything else. So there was another one over here somewhere. Oh, God. Our breath is going quick. Ah! How is this dude, like, one-shotting us? Why is this one so much stronger than the others? That was wild, dude. Okay, well, we learn our lesson. <laughs> if we get the wax, just go. <laughs> Fight the dude. Uh, or not fight the dude. Find the dude. Steal his armor and shit. And then just leave. Like. Because that one is just evil. If I'm not mistaken, we were at like three quarters health. If not more, man. We had high health. And then that dude just destroyed us. Out of nowhere. Hopefully we get lucky enough to have another drop again, though. Another uh, wax drop. Really suck if we get all the way up to that guy again and <laughs> don't get the drop after getting it last time. I'd much rather find it naturally than go buy it. One, because buying stuff is kind of lame. And two, we're kind of poor. <laughs> Hopefully selling that dude's crap will help, but still. Is there still one here? Hold on, take all the stuff again. Take, 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 take. Watch the dude's armor be like even worse this time. Oh, this one's not here this time. Or is he? Yeah, there he is. Oh, hey, dope. Okay. Uh, we will take that. We are going to go deeper, but only up to the point of getting the armor off that guy. 
We're not going any farther than that. There's going to be a slaughter fish around here somewhere. Right? What the hell do you have this time? A steel fire sword? Cool. Bone mold boots. Shit and right pauldron. We have both our pauldrons now, right? Yeah. I mean, this one has a higher, uh, whatchamacallit on it, I think. Either way, whatever. Racer, no. Tower shield, that's kind of garbage. Steel hound. A single gold piece and a couple lockpicks, okay. And then, yeah, I think we're just gonna get out of here this time. Fuck that other one, dude. Back this way. I wonder where that slaughter fish is that kept fucking us up before, though. It's weird that it didn't appear this time. Fucking that, dude. Alright, yep. Leave the wax as a blessing. The grace of valor, thank you for your valor, Lord Vivek. I shall not quail nor torn away, but face my enemies and my fear. And that gave us all kinds of stuff. 10 points of unarmored, 10 points of light armor, 10 points of medium armor, and 10 points of heavy armor. Bro, that's kind of sick. That almost makes me want to go back over there and try to take that dude on, but we're not going to do it. No, nope, nope, nope. We're leaving. We're done with that area. Now we just got to make it over to, whatchamacallit, Nissus, Nissus Temple. So wait, which one's actually Nissus? I guess all of these are? I guess we're technically in Nissus now. But is there anything actually on this side? It's gotta be honest, this side looks kinda empty, man. I feel like all the stuff to do is over here. I was kinda scared, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was hoping the water would properly break our fall, but for a moment I was thinking maybe it won't, and then we just die. One of these has to be the temple. We are also looking for a shop to buy stuff. Well, to sell our stuff to, rather. Those are the barracks. Those just look like houses. Maybe this building in the center. That looks like it could be a temple. And you, good sir, I would like to barter. I just want to sell some stuff to you, if you don't mind. Do you buy books? No. Didn't really figure, but... Do you buy ingredients? No. Surely you buy apparel, though. And weapons. Where's the... There it is, steel fire sword. I don't expect you to have anything we care about. Boiled netch leather curious. Nope, bars is better. Is it possible, like, if we search for light? Uh, Jesus, man, if I could type, no. I was hoping we could just filter by, like, armor type. We sell hammers. I 
I don't know if like the hammers actually do anything for us. I'm waiting. Like if there's a skill that it trains. But something feels good about fixing our own armor, you know? Or trying to at least. Good enough. Okay. Let's go. Aw. Ooh, this right gauntlet's pretty bad. Oh, no, that's not worth fixing. This is, though. Bro, we're hardly putting anything on this axe each time we do it. <laughs> I think we're just wasting it on that. Let's try doing some of these other things. Jesus, man. Okay. There we go. I mean, at the end of the day, this is probably cheaper than paying him to, to fix it we spent what there were 10 like a hundred gold on these oh something went up I heard something go up some sort of skill but the message went away too quickly for me to see what it was back in perfect condition and we still have a hammer and a half what do you sell uh just random junk including moon sugar though so you probably buy ingredients do we have anything worth selling trauma roots not too bad at 10 that's good 25 value 20 value. Pearl, yes. I think I'll keep the muck. Value 2, value 1, value 30. You can have it. Bro, we made more money off just this random crap that we've picked up. Than the actual, like armor and stuff that we've grabbed to sell spoiled potion of swift swim yum restore intelligence cheap potion as shadow hmm. it's only for 15 seconds and it's only 8% probably not worth grabbing you only have 400 gold though Hmm. Maybe we sold him a little too much. Let's take uh, these back. Okay, let's not take all of those back. <laughs> let's, let's give him like, I don't know, 14. There we go, 420. I'll give it to you for 400, my guy. Take all your money. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. What are you, just a clother? Yeah, you... I don't buy anything Speak that I have then. This must be the temple. Who are you? Oh, you're another person. Uh, these ones are a little more expensive. No, I don't think we buy any more of them. Slightly better arrows. Silver war axe. Mm, I'm pretty sure our... Axe is better. Yeah, 1 to 35. No, I don't think we need anything from you. Goodbye. Okay, so presumably one of these is the one that we want. But we also need to find the person that sells the, uh... Potion of Cure Disease, or whatever it's called. Citizen. 
I wonder what that ash mask does. That's fancy looking. Shrine of the Mask? Here, Nissus Vivek made a potion to cure a villager who had fallen ill but could not pay for the healing of the temple. Vivek promised that the temple, ow, <laughs> would always cure those who could not pay and left his sacred mask here as a sign of that promise. Is that the thing that we're looking for? The shrine that we're looking for? Shrine of Justice. Okay. So no, not that one. What words do you have for me, Sigazan? Uh, none, honestly. Just curious about your book collection here. Anything? Awfully expensive book for nothing. I guess we could have read it before. That's a possibility. Ooh, that was another expensive one. Long blade skill. I'll take it. Medium armor. Always nice. Okay. Back down. Uh, hold on. Nope. Let's go down again. Is it you? Do you sell potions? Cheap disease resistance. No. You do My sell the wax, though. What so do you... It quick. You do spells and spell making. Yeah, I don't think we're ready for any other spells, honestly. Ooh, that's kind of nice, though. Because that's a teleport. But no, 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 no. We suck at magic. <laughs> I think we're better off just using scrolls for now. Whenever it comes down to something like we need to teleport away quick, you know? So it's none of these ones. Aha! Do you sell the potions? You sell all kinds of potions. Potion to cure common disease. There we go. I will buy... How much are they? 20? We have 662. I'll buy 5. For a cool 100 gold. Actually, do you sell anything else I care about while we're here? Probably not. Uh, restore, restore, restore. Uh, restore health wouldn't be too bad. Oh, that's cheap. Restore health, though. No. Standard restore health. Yeah. Only one. Ooh, levitate for 30 seconds. I really like levitate. Wouldn't mind learning how to make that. What do you want? And now, where is this shrine, though? Just a bunch of wax. It's just a mural. Is this an exit? That's an exit. It did say it was in the temple, right? Pretty sure. These are the only two shrines I've seen. Oh, wait. Oh, we didn't go Speak back here. Tyler. Who are you? You're nobody. Blasphemous Revenants. Interesting reading. Go ahead. I got nothing to say. I'm just looking around, my guy. Yes, it's not that one. Not that one. Don't remember it being down here anywhere. Let's overlooked it. Speak, traveler. Wouldn't be the first time we overlooked something, though. It would make sense to be up there where the mask was. Maybe that. 
weird like shrine thing in the middle was what we were looking for. It just didn't do anything because we didn't have the uh, the potion. This. Yeah, okay. The grace of justice. Thank you for your justice, Lord Vivek. I shall be neither cruel nor arbitrary, for fair dealing earns the love, trust, and respect Speak of our people. The the spirits and thy lords. Oh, it didn't give us anything? Resist magicka and fortify skill. Maybe it, like, healed us of any blights that we had? Any sort of sickness or something? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, next. Pilgrim's Path. How many more do we have? So we have the Ghost Fence next, it looks like. The Shrine of Pride. The Shrine of Pride is found within Ghost Fence, just northeast of the Ghost Gate itself. Safest route to Ghost Gates along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Old Dwemer Bridge. Pilgrim may follow. Any journey inside the ghost fence is dangerous, but even the most timid pilgrim should be safe, as long as he does not stray too far from the ghost gate and flees from any minions of Dagoth. Uh, Dagoth -er. When you address the shrine, it's customary to leave a soul gem in remembrance of our ancestors, who are bound to the tribunal service. Oh, it's the last one too, dude. Okay. I feel like we found that one before, actually, whenever we went to the ghost fence for that very short period of time. But we probably didn't have a soul gem. I don't suppose any of you guys sell soul gems, right? I doubt it. So we're definitely gonna need one before we get there. Did you sell anything? I no. will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Uh, I'm getting lost here, this way. There's a dude down here, yeah. Uh, I don't see any. It doesn't look like it. No. What's a scroll? Lock picking? Nope. Um... I think we checked with you already, right? Yeah, no, it's Go not ahead. you. There's nobody else. Surprised they don't like run out of bed at the temple or something. You're not gonna sell soul gems, you're an armor. Yeah, that's what want. I thought. Um Move on. Clother, probably not. Doesn't look like it. Quickly, Outlander. Another armor. Oh no, you're just like the junk person. Ha ha! Petty. I don't know if petty's good enough, but I'm gonna buy it anyways. I'm waiting. I'd still like to find a regular one though. Go My ahead. time is precious, so make it quick. Did type that right, right? Yeah. Okay. Anybody else here that would sell anything? These are just huts. Huts. Cave dwellings. No, okay, yeah. Probably nobody else around here. Now you... Where can you take us to? You take us anywhere south? Oh, you can take us to Aldrun. All the way to Sejanine, actually. Uh, we'll go to Aldrun. Right into a hell of a storm, Jesus, man. Well, <laughs> let's try to get out of the storm. Maybe find someone that sells some, some goodies. It's probably a guard tower. Mm -hmm. Someone around here has got to sell enchanting supplies. 
Like the Mage's Guild, maybe? Seems like as good a place as any. What's this then? Spells and spell making, no. Fresh game. Need like an enchanter. Ooh, ooh. It's trapped though. Uh I gotta admit, I'm super curious, man. Oh, that wasn't... That wasn't that bad. Bro, that wasn't bad at all. What's in it? 117 gold? I mean, whatever. I'll take it. Three? Three. Anybody else up here or are you all just down there? I don't think we've ever been to this major skill before. Uh, another, another thing. No, no, stay out of it. They're going to end up getting us killed. Hello, you. Uh, you're a teleporter. No, although, hold on. Do you travel to Ghost Gate? No. You do do Balmora, though. So assuming we find what we're looking for here, that would be an easy way to get to where we need to go. I'm assuming if we were part of the Mage's Guild, we could use one of these rooms. Probably this one, the super basic one. That's back up, okay. You look like an alchemist. Yeah, sure enough. You have something to say to me? No, but I was hoping that you sold soul gems. I don't think you will, being an alchemist and all, but it would have been handy. Huh? What is this? Get there by going around the mountains near Sarin and heading north or east along the... Okay. That's a place. Why would I want to go there, though? Yes. Hi. Order. Oh, wait! Oh, you do enchanting. But you don't sell soul gems? That's annoying. What is this? Red Despair? Absorb attribute willpower. Hmm. So it takes their willpower and gives us gives gives it to us. Light armor. With a rating of 15. It's a horny fist. <laughs> Fortify skill hand to hand. I mean that's not bad. Bad. I don't see us doing hand-to-hand -hand fighting at any point, but just the armor itself seems pretty decent. Steel Jink Blade? Mm. No. Ooh. A Restore Health Helmet. Value of 75, that's not that much. Has the same armor rating as what ours has. Hmm. I think we'll save the money for now. Make it quick. As much as it is, or as nice as it is, health potions aren't that expensive. And we have the spell now. We could probably... Close this door. Oh, there isn't a door here. Oh, well that <laughs> that explains a lot. Okay, never mind. You don't sell. Make it quick, Outlander. Twenty fifth sounds like a very sophisticated martial arts movie <laughs> with a deep plot. My guy, <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> Student here at the school. I want to learn to read. Uh, good luck with that. Bruh, nobody sells. Yes. Hmm. Soul gems. Well, hopefully they sell soul gems in Balmora somewhere. Let's just step outside. See if I see any other shops on the map. 
Also, welcome. Hazarithius. <laughs> Bruh. Sorry, I am terrible with names. Uh, <laughs> Guild of Fighters? I don't think the Fighters Guild is going to be selling soul gems. Haze is fine? Okay. <laughs> I like Haze. Haze is easy. Ooh, pawnbrokers, though. They sell all kinds of stuff. General merchandise, maybe, is too. So we want to head northeast. If we can make our way through this storm. Can we go up this? Yeah. Up into here. Stop by the pawnbroker first. Broker. Let's hear it. Oh, hi. <laughs> That's not creepy or anything. Barter. Nope. No soul gems. I don't need you for anything then. Started messing around with this game on your phone. Makes a great traveling game. I'm trying to think of... <laughs> I didn't even know there was a uh, mobile phone port. Or is there like a open more one port that runs on cell phone? I guess that Speed would make traveler. sense. Android port for open more one. Okay, that makes sense. That's technically the version I'm playing here as well. It's another petty. Hmm. Let's hear it. I was really hoping for just like a regular one. No, don't take. That'd be bad. Open microwave? Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Come on. Open microwave. That's an interesting name. I can't help but wonder if there's like some sort of reason for it or if they just <laughs> thought it was dumb so they did it. I'm down for it though. Control surprisingly well. How do you, like, move around and whatnot? Does it have, like, virtual joysticks? For movement? Or... Is it, like, touch-based somehow? I'm gonna guess virtual joysticks, because... Speak traveler. I feel like it would take a lot of work to add touch-to-move to this game engine. Uh, you're just a smith. Nothing. You're a smith. Well, that's... Okay. You're the general merchandise. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here, sadly. Clother's not going to sell soul gems. Yeah, no. Didn't think so. Uh, okay, back to Bomora then. To hope for the best there. The left stick is a standard joystick, but the right one functions more like a trackpad. Okay. If I... Okay played in like any mobile games I would give it a try but I just don't find myself like when I'm away from home I'm usually busy with something so I don't find that I really ever have time to play games on mobile but if I was going to more one would be an excellent choice for it While I'm not going to pretend to know much about this game, it's a hell of a time. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Though a couple quality of uh, life improvements would be amazing. Yeah, I don't think you guys are going to have anything for me. Although there might be a bed here I could use since... Oh. Oh, you have all kinds of stuff I could do, huh? Greetings. But anyway, since I'm a member, that's what I was saying. Just do when you can't sleep and don't want to get back on the PC or if you're outside, maybe. Yeah, I'm fortunate enough to uh, have a Steam Deck. So whenever I'm in one of those situations, I usually just grab the Steam Deck. Where, like, the situation where I can't go to sleep, as an example. Yeah, no. I didn't figure. Today is your lucky day. So let's hear it. Although, bed. I didn't try. ABCs for barbarians. I like that. That's great. It's a locked door. Huh. You guys not have a barracks in this area? I'm listening. I probably just missed it, honestly. Ooh, I'll take these hammers, though. 
Uh, cheap restore health? I drop them. I don't actually want them. They take up too much inventory space. Standard restore health, though. Gladly take those. And the restore fatigue, actually. Fur helm. Weight of 2 for an armor of 13. Weight of 1 for an armor of 19. Nope. Pass on that one. Wait, is this my bed? This is my bed. Okay. Cool. Let's get a nap in then so we can get a save in. We may not have completed much, but we have done some stuff and I'd hate to lose all of our progress again. Get a drink. Uh, I still haven't cooked any food. A couple eggs should do the trick though. Yes. Alright. Uh, right there. Tuba Mora. I'm not mistaken, but Mora's fairly close to the ghost gate, right? Oh, I guess it's Caldera. Okay. Do you go to Caldera then? Oh, nope. Travel. You don't. Well, screw it. Let's go to Bamora anyways. Then we can just run up to Caldera if we need to. You have a couple mobile game ports? Yes, sir. The only one I think I've ever personally tried was the uh, Final Fantasy Tactics mobile port, which I was quite enjoying the game, but I very much dislike the uh, tap to walk function in it. Because like, I would try to walk to a square near an enemy or something like that, accidentally click on the enemy and then just get destroyed. It was just a bad time, and for whatever reason, they didn't add uh, controller support Make to that game. Walk. So I couldn't even hook up, like, I have a uh, Razer Kichi for my phone. I couldn't even, like, hook that up to it and use it or anything, so that was annoying. Anyways, never ended up finishing it for that reason, but... And then I have Stardew Valley. Official port, of course, but... <laughs> it, uh, it works really well on mobile. Haven't played a full game of that either, but I just love Stardew Valley, so couldn't help but buy another copy of it on there. What kind of stuff do you have on mobile, my guy? There's a uh, Resident Evil want? port for mobile too, isn't there? Maybe a couple of them even. Fresh game. You have something to say. I sell a bunch of crap to this pawnbroker all the time. I'm wondering if maybe I would have sold him a couple soul gems at any point. It's a lesser. Again, I'll buy it. What is this regarding? Orc? Just because maybe, but not gonna hold my breath though. Stardew, very nice. Terraria? What say that makes sense, yeah. Morrowind, Vampire Survivors. I've never actually played Vampire Survivors. CDDA. That I'm not sure what's about. Ah, uh, I have tried RuneScape on mobile. Back whenever I played RuneScape every now and then, I uh, downloaded it and I would screw around with it on at work a little bit. But I... Uh, Never played a ton on mobile. Like I said, I just don't do a lot of mobile gaming. But it did work fairly well. Cataclysm Dark Days ahead. Okay. Um, Sorry, I don't My think I know... Short, so on Hold on. I don't think I know that version. Is that... There's like another version of Cataclysm, isn't there? Or is Dark Days Ahead just the one I'm thinking of? There's a YouTuber, uh, Quill18. I can't remember if that was the one... Bright Nights? I can't remember which one I watched him play. I, I know it was Cataclysm something, though. I'm fairly certain. It might have been ahead. Dark Days Ahead. That sounds more familiar than Bright Nights does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Cataclysm. I was thinking, I was just thinking for a moment, because there was also um Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup was another one that he played. A decent bit, so I was thinking maybe that one, but no, I'm pretty sure it was the Cataclysm one. Here we go, dude. Petty Soul Gem. 
Ooh, these ones actually have souls in them. I'm wondering if we need that. Dark Days is probably the one you saw. Bright Nights is more recent and brings back the more sci-fi elements. Okay, yeah, it was probably Dark Days then. Because I don't remember very much sci-fi in it. Okay, these ones are a lot more expensive, but... Um, okay, let's buy a common with something in it. Let's buy a petty with something in it. Do you have a lesser with something in it? You do. It's going to eat up our money pretty quick, but screw it. Surely one of these will work, though. Now, with uh, with as many different things as we've bought. We have a handful of just regular soul gems that are empty. We have a handful of soul gems with crap in them. One of them have to do the trick. It's so empty it is. I suppose I have a more mm. I'm just going to sleep again real quick so we can save again. Might as well do a long nap. Still haven't cooked food, though. Uh, I don't know. Mushrooms? Do mushrooms fill us up? I'm not sure how that works with this mod. Will that fill our hunger? No. Does not look like it. This probably will, though. Or not. Shit, dude. Um. I mean, we have raw meat. Will the raw meat do it? No. <laughs> Apparently not. Okay, we're just gonna have to go outside and uh, cook some stuff. Does it gotta be real food? I think so. Oh, shit. That's not the right way. Um, I thought that some raw food worked. I'm pretty sure, like, breads and stuff like that will fill your hunger. Uh, I know, like, cooked meats will fill your hunger. Raw eggs seem to fill your hunger just fine. So I'm not really sure what does and doesn't. It wasn't the mod that I wanted to use for, like, the survival elements, but, um, it was the only, like, decent option I had for Open Morrowind, sadly. The other one wasn't compatible with Open Morrowind, at least not at the time that I was looking into it. I know Open Morrowind has done... The devs for Open Morrowind have done some, uh, work on getting some more script extenders type of stuff working. So it might be compatible, or there might be a compatible version now, but... He was going through a very strong period of change because Dark Days devs are going full on realism at all costs, including enjoyability for most players. Oh, that sounds rough. <laughs> no, I don't believe so. I don't think I've even heard of that person, to be honest with you. Oh, before we go too far. Uh, one, I forgot to save after resting. But two, I also need to cook. Might as well cook and then save. Meat, I should have Nick Sound meat because we killed a bunch of Nick Sounds. I really wish there was a bulk cooking option. That'd make this stuff go a hell of a lot quicker. Thankfully, I mean, the food does last a decent amount of time. You only really have to eat like once a day. Mushrooms? Yeah, we got a bunch of those too. Okay, that should be more than enough for a while. Save the game before I forget again. Okay. Meat. Eat. There we go. Hunger gone. All right, now up to the ghost fence. I want to finish this mission, man. Damn, it's already 2.30. If we make our way up there quick, we should be able to do it. Before uh, it gets too, too late. You know, I like I said, I don't think I've ever heard of him. I'll have to look him up at some point. See, uh, I'm assuming YouTube, right? That'd make the most sense. 
No, <laughs> like I said, I don't think I've even heard of them. If you ever watch one, you were in for a trip. They're very family friendly and a uh, few can break Twitch. <laughs> so don't just in case. Okay. <laughs> I got you, my guy. I'm actually, because memory bad, I'm going to just grab that name there, paste it into Google. There we go. Bring up his hey, YouTube hey, channel. People. Pause that, though. Okay. Because <laughs> otherwise, I will forget. Oh, they are not family friendly. My bad. <laughs> Misread that there. I'm fine with that, though. <laughs> that doesn't bother me one bit. Yeah, that was him? Okay. So I'll check him out, man. I hear somebody. Whoever it is, I think they're having some pathfinding problems. <laughs> Bro, for real? Oh, you look scary, though. What are you? We've been through here a couple of times before. I don't remember seeing you here. Ow. A word being drained. Okay. He's dead. So according to my own rules, I'm allowed to use potions and stuff. We have literally one health left. Holy shit, my guy. Okay. Is this going to heal us fast enough? I don't know if potion stacking works, but... Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> that dude was rude. Uh, I'm surprised we won that. Oh, my God. All right. Dope. Too bad we didn't get, like, anything really <laughs> worth it. it. It just wasn't worth it at all. Killing him was not worth it. That was way too close. Small Blades OP. Honestly, though, like, I'm specced toward... Uh, like, axes, right? With the 65 here. But the Short Blade, you can just spam attack so quickly with it. And it uses so little fatigue, like... Compared to if I pull out my axe here, like, it has a longer charge time, of course, to get the, the full damage on it there. And then, uh, uses a bit more fatigue. Like, it's just not, it's just not worth it most of the time. The stump axe? No, I don't, I don't even know what that is. They said, I'm honestly a complete more when noob. Outside of the, the roughly 15 times that I've streamed it now... I know next to nothing about Morrowind. I did watch one or two uh, relatively short YouTube videos just to get, you know, some some basic help with the game. But outside of that, man, yeah. Want to know where it is? I'll probably forget, to be honest with you, but you are more than welcome to tell me. As long as it's not, like, story spoilers for a game, or people aren't, like, insistent on, you know, go and do this thing here right now or whatever, I don't really mind stuff like that. Like, little tips and things. Okay, you're annoying as hell. There you go. You're dead now. Thank you. I hate those things, man. They're so hard to hit whenever they're flying. If you ever head back to the beginning town, I can show you. Okay. Assuming we have time after I make it up to the ghost fence here... We can uh, quickly go back there. I said Janine shouldn't take too bad. Or too bad, too long. What is the stump axe? Is it is it good? Because, like, my dwarven axe that I have does up to 35. Yeah, up to 35 damage. It's just kind of slow to charge because, you know, axe. But other than that, I feel like it's not actually a bad weapon. It's just for some reason, like, daggers seem to hit more often for me, even though I <laughs> I have higher skill in axes. It's just weird. Honestly, more when it's just a weird game. It's a ton of fun. I love it, but it's a weird game. Drain attribute. Is that temporary? I... 
Hope that's temporary. I don't have that many restores on me. God, this place is dangerous. Sell the one for a new start, and even then you can sell it. That's always a good idea. Extra gold is always nice. Especially in this game, man. Like in Skyrim, I found myself almost never training skills, but in this game, holy hell. I'm pretty sure the majority of my money has gone to training skills. Training skills and tra <laughs> traveling, honestly. Because at the beginning, for the first like 12 streams or so, I wasn't using a, a map or anything either. So I just ended up like randomly teleporting to towns. Trying to find where I was going. Bro, you guys suck so much. Oh, and I ran out of charge on that. Okay, we need to heal. This game is really deep. Yeah, that's that is very true. Um Part of the, the couple videos that I have watched on the game were just like how to make different builds work. And it's insane like how quickly, if you know the mechanics of the game, how quickly you can just get overpowered as hell. Through whether it's like enchanting or knowing where different things are in the game to, uh, to just go find them, like grab them. We're probably not allowed to sleep here, are we? Yeah, exploits, that's a whole nother thing, for sure. Oh, shit. Hello? Ah, gotta click the right side. Okay, that hasn't gone away, so do we have strength, endurance, speed? Okay, we do have restore strength. So is that gonna go away now? No, so it must be temporary. So we should be fine. The world record for an any percent run of this game? I have no clue. How bad are you? You know what? I'm just going to ignore you. There was a shrine. I mean, there was a couple shrines, but I remember there was one relatively close by... That was pretty good. Of course, we're caught in a blight storm. We're going to end up catching blight, dude. Yes. Okay. That should be... That should be it. That should be pilgrimage complete. Um... It didn't say we got an update, though. Made the pilgrimage to the Mask of Vivek. Read the Grace of Justice. Wait. Was that not it? Hold on, where's our book? Oh shit, we're technically fighting. Ghostgate Shrine. Oh, damn you. Okay, I think we had to fight. It's going to be hard to hit right now, though, with, like, no stamina. Oh, good, and we've contracted Blight. That's always nice. What was that? Ow. What are you? No, go away. <laughs> okay. I think we need to leave. Oh, my God. Stop falling, please. Are we... We're still in battle, technically. Run, 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 run. End game time. Loading doesn't count. The world record is about 2 minutes, 30 seconds. <laughs> Jesus, man. You know, I've probably seen, actually, a uh, run on, like... Um, like, Games Done Quick or something. I'm sure I've seen one before. Don't they use, like, a... Uh, 
Is it levitate? They use some sort of levitate or acrobat or something like that to just like fly around the, the world like crazy. I think I have seen a run of it now that you mention it. But my memory is terrible. <laughs> it's really bad, man. Okay, so we need... Okay, well, we're thirsty. That's easy. Water jug. And then... I don't have anything to cure blight. Well, this is a temple. Or there's a temple around here somewhere, at least. Look, I'm just trying to get rid of my disease, okay? You don't need to be mean about it. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. I appreciate that. Go away, diseased creature. <laughs> hey, you saw a potion that cures all blight diseases? Uh, I mean, okay. I'd rather do a shrine, but... Potion to cure poison, restore health, fatigue. Are you sure about that? I don't see anything that cures blight disease. Um, let's find a shrine. I'm pretty sure there's a shrine somewhere in here. Go I could find away, my way around. Bro, y'all don't need to be so mean. I'm working on it. Here we go. Is it in the center? I think it's in the center here. This looks right. Maybe not. Do you want something? I, I want to get rid of this blight disease if you know a way to do that. Shoot, I guess not. Um, either way, before I forget, let's check that book. The axe that said Janine's a neat little bugger. I'm going to have to check it out. I just wanted to complete this quest that we were on. The Fields of Kumu Shrine of Humility. We did that. Uh, to Stop the Moon, Shrine of Sharing, we, or Daring, we did that. Shrine of Generosity, we did that. Shrine of Courtesy, we did that. Um... Near the Altars of Vex Ash Mask. Days of fire when they got the da, 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 da. Okay, we did that one. We did coal cave. Um Ghost Fence, the Shrine of Pride. Yeah, no, so that wasn't the right one. <clears throat> Within the ghost fence, just northeast. Of the ghost gate, ghost gate itself. A volcanic ravine running from the top of Red Mountain. Blah 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 blah. blah. Customary to leave a soul gem. Yeah. Is that not it? I wonder if it's because we were in a fight. Um, shoot. Assuming we can get rid of our disease, we're going to try one more time, I think. Wait, do I have another petty soul gem? I wonder if they'll take one that has... Oh, here we go. Ghost Gate Temple. I wonder if they'll take one that has... A, uh... Something in it. If they'll accept that. Speak, traveler. It's not going to be any of these ones, right? No, I mean, it said it was within Ghost Fence itself. But it needed an offering of a soul gem, so that makes the most sense. The one that we just went to, because it took an offering of soul gem. Racers would make sure you could never do so with. <laughs> but honestly, man, I hate Cliff Racers so much. Those things really suck. Okay, before we go out there, 
Let's heal. Standard restore health. Do we have, I think we bought some fatigue. Uh, just standard restore fatigue. Oh, and resist shock. Very fancy. Why does it already sound like battle music? Looks like a tornado. Wait, what? Seen the gif of the guy running and he's followed by a swarm of 50 plus. That's another weird thing about this game, man. Like, it seems like uh, things don't really have a limit on how far they'll follow you. Things, ap things appear to just follow you forever in this game, man. As long as they can keep up with you. It's honestly scary as hell. <laughs> Well, you're dead. Ash sleeve. Wasn't too bad. Okay, one thing we don't want to do this time is run out of... Um... Corpus Stalker? Run out of f stamina. Oh, good. We already have Ash disease. Or Blight disease, rather. Screw it. Let's take another healing potion. Or actually, do we have we have cure common disease? That should get rid of that, right? Hopefully. Guess we'll find out. Hmm, guess not. Oh wait, that was blight. That wasn't I'm dumb. So fast that you can't outrun them unless you're wearing something like the boots of blinding speed. Probably not, but that sounds sick. Uh, this is the wrong. This is the wrong thing. Ow. Please, game. Give me the bound dagger. Thank you. Bro, just hit him. Okay. Okay, we're not in a fight. The Grace of Pride. Thank you for your pride, Lord Vivek. I shall not doubt myself or my people or my gods and shall insist upon them my ancient rights. Yeah, but it didn't give us an update. Huh. I think we're going to have to give up on that one for now. <laughs> I just don't know what else to do with it. Um, I have to look it up on like the Elder Scrolls Wiki or something. Because I made the pilgrimage to all of the locations, got all of the blessings. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Do you know what bound weapons and armor are? You mean from a lore perspective or just from a gameplay perspective? Because from a gameplay per uh, perspective, that's what this is. Just lore? No. From a lore standpoint, I have no clue, to be honest with you. I know that this demon Tonto here is very handy, though. Blight storm, blight storm. Oh, this is all just blight storm stuff. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't cause blight to come upon us, but... We'll just have to hope for the best there. Yeah, no, you're good, man. You can tell me. I don't think that's, like, game-specific spoilers or anything, so I don't mind that. Blackheart Blight? That was Blackheart Blight. Strength 31. Endurance 32. I'm now over encumbered. Okay. Really, game? That didn't do anything for us. Um, <laughs> do we, we don't have, we don't, oh my God. Hmm. I guess we just had to drop a bunch of stuff and then hopefully it's still here when we come back to pick it up. Do we have anything heavy? 
Besides the armor I'm wearing, no. I'm not going to drop my armor or my weapons. It's just all of these potion ingredients that I'm carrying around and not using. I guess what we could actually do... Hold on. I can't even pick that up. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh no, I don't have my potion making stuff with me either because... Uh, God damn it. Okay. Start dropping stuff. Because I didn't want to be carrying around the extra weight. That is brutal. Minus 31? Like... Scroll of Vitality? No. Or 32? What was it? 30... Yeah, 31. 32 Endurance. That is crazy, man. Uh, I'd like to keep the cooked meat in case it does despawn. I mean, I'd like to keep all of this stuff in case it despawns, but... That doesn't seem like an option right now. Bound weapons armor are danger summoned and warped into the shape. Oh, no shit. That's kind of wild, man. So, <laughs> so this dagger is actually just a daedra that I'm holding in my hand. That is wild. Grace shaft of nonsense. Uh, I think we have to drop some cooked food. That didn't do anything. Um, hold on, if I drink water, is that enough to walk around at least? It is. Thank God, okay. <laughs> that's, just, that's just great to me. Especially like armor, man. Because you're just wearing Daedra, like, on your body. Now, I'm wondering, are we going to contract more Blight Disease because we're still inflicted with Blight stuff, Blight Storm stuff? Uh, we can wait, though. I don't know, wait for four hours. It's still there. It doesn't seem to have a limit on it. I really hope that stuff doesn't despawn. Shit. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem to care. Hmm. Well. Just gotta hope that we, <laughs> we, we don't get that bad of a blade disease again. Oh, good. There's still a storm going on outside, too, so... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Seriously? What is it, a cliff racer? Just run. Oh, wait. Oh, it did go away. It just took a minute. Okay. We're probably just thirsty now from... Thirsty and hungry from not uh, eating or drinking after waiting all that time. Well, yeah, and of course the current ash storm isn't helping anything if nothing else at least the the cliff racers their uh, racer plumes are worth decent cash I'll give them that if nothing else I'm tempted to waste one of my teleport scrolls to get out of here I'm going to Ah, here we go. I don't know where they take me. I don't remember. But it doesn't matter. Oh. I'm dumb. Oh, wait. I do have Cure Blight Disease on self. Oh, but it's not called Blight. It's called something else. Oh, dumb. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, if it's useful, it's not a waste. Fair. Oh, it comes all the way down here? The storm is vicious, man. You want something, friend? I thought he was about to attack me, man. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I didn't do anything. 
happen before I accidentally attack him, really piss him off. Uh, wait a second. I'm going the wrong direction. I was going back towards the ghost fence. I want to go away from ghost fence. <laughs> She can follow by you want something that's pretty threatening, not gonna lie, right? It scared the hell out of me, man. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, okay, wait. Let's put away that teleport scroll before I accidentally use it again. Are you... Okay. thought that cliff racer was bugged, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, hey, dude. We leveled up, too. wonder what our multiplier is right now, though. And the ash storm's over. Even better. Caldera? Does Caldera have... I don't think Caldera has anywhere we can... Teleport to, or with, uh... Like a Silt Strider or anything. It's up to you, love. I'm just going back to the starting town. It shouldn't take too, too long. So I'm just going to run back to the starting town, check out this axe that Hayes is telling me about. And then that's going to be it. Because it is pretty late for me. It's 3 in the morning. <laughs> but I am very curious about this stump axe. Thankfully, though, even though it looks like we're going to have to walk, it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, I do remember seeing a little bit, like, um, the guy, the tax dude, for some, like, early game money. And I did end up doing that quest eventually. Um, I know there was another one, too, that I did Keep moving. around there. But I don't remember if I ever saw the stump. The hidden cash, yeah. Pawnbroker... Isn't there a... I don't know. Trader. Ah, there it is. You're what I was looking for. I would love a bed, please. Yes. Yeah. I need to heal. Not that door. I do that, I feel like, every time. That's what makes, like, something, like, a, a a little secret in a game good, though, right? Like, something just out of the way enough that you would never just naturally find it upon playing unless you're really just, like, screwing around and exploring. But still have it be, like, useful for people that know where it's at or if you do just happen to find it. The platter at the start. <laughs> Are you talking about where, like, you can pick it up, quickly drop it um, before they come and take it from you and then pick it up again for some early game gold? I actually used that trick. Uh, I remembered it, I think it was last stream, to get the book <laughs> that we've been reading for that Path of the Pilgrimage thing. Because um, they caught me when I went to grab it. I didn't think they would, but they did. And I remembered, like, right before the guy got to me, so I very quickly dropped it. And then he was like, yeah, I'm going to take all the stuff you stole, and then I picked it back up. It was nice. I mean, we have been working on intelligence stuff a little bit, but maximum fatigue is hard to pass. I mean, speed would be nice, too, but agility for our chance to hit, as well as our maximum fatigue... Resisting magic and maximum fatigue is very nice. And then strength always, just for the damage output. Health gain per level. I mean, more health wouldn't be bad. We probably do need to start doing endurance stuff soon, but... I don't think we're going to right now. I think we're just going to take those two, or three. And then... Drink and eat before I forget. And also, since we leveled up, we need to increase the difficulty by three more. I 
Every time we level up, we raise the difficulty by three. It makes the game a hell of a lot harder, but <laughs> that's kind of the point, so. <laughs> it's a random, but you love the Holidays Reese's. Always have so much more peanut butter than the regular kind. I hate the Holiday Reese's, man. <laughs> I, I Hate is a strong word. I'll still eat the Holidays Reese's. Um, but I'm not a huge peanut butter person, so I much prefer the regular ones, especially if you, uh, pop them in the freezer. Frozen Reese's are just amazing to me. Uh, but Mr. Noodle, though, Mr. Noodle loves <laughs> Holidays Reese's. <laughs> They're her favorite as well. <laughs> Anytime a holiday comes around, she's always begging me to pick some up, or, uh, she'll just come home with a bunch of them. Like... <laughs> <laughs> this is Balmora. Balmora definitely has a uh, Soul Strider. Order a shelf box of it. Honestly, that's not a bad idea at all for her. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's probably what we should do. Unless we get really lucky and find some on clearance, it's not like we're going to get them for any cheaper than what we would off Amazon anyways. So, <laughs> you only have two pumpkins left and you're about to eat them? Oh, no. I mean, I'm down for Hayes' idea. It's not terrible. And hell, uh, ordering them off somewhere like Amazon, you might even be able to find the ones that aren't like the current holiday. You get like 30 of them. <laughs> so, so I'm just not into it. I don't get it, man. I, I'm just not a peanut butter person. I can eat peanut butter. Um, Like it doesn't disgust me or anything. I don't hate it like some people do. But I just, I've never loved peanut butter. Or more, you've never counted them. Fair. <laughs> Noodle does love peanut butter. I do like uh, Noodle makes this peanut butter pie. Um, which I don't really care for the pie itself. But one time she turned it into a dip. I think I'm the one that suggested it. Um, but she did it for me one time. Well, actually, it was for a friend's party. Regardless, point is, she turned it into a dip. Like the filling from the pie. And wow. then we just... Uh, use like graham crackers and stuff to dip in it that was pretty good 36 for 25 yeah that doesn't seem bad and i'm assuming they're like the uh decent sized ones too not the little tiny ones since it's a uh, shelf box but okay so we're in sejanine i'm assuming this way somewhere like over in this random direction Holiday ones are always single wrap. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the lighthouse, okay. Always single wrapped. I was thinking like, because they also sell bags of them, don't they? I, they're still individually wrapped, but I'm pretty sure you can get them in bags. My mouse just DC'd. Because that's, if I remember correctly, Noodle, correct me if I'm wrong, but those are the, uh, the pumpkin ones or whatever that I just bought her. We're in a uh, in a bag. Back a lighthouse, but up on the rocks. Okay. Oop, oop, oop. This one. I'll jump onto the stump. Okay. Oh, you got to get like in the stump, huh? This does sound somewhat familiar. Okay, that was <laughs> that was a good jump right there. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go, dude. Holy shit! Yeah, no, that's not bad at all. One to thirty-two. That's oh, and with frost damage. So in that case, it might actually be better than what I'm currently using. Zero to seven points of frost damage with a max single hit of thirty-two. So that's up to 39. It's just a roll on the uh, frost damage. Would depend on how... On whether it's better, the worse, or the same. Yeah. 
you know what I do really like about it? I think I am going to switch to it, even though it could potentially do up to three damage less. But since it's enchanted, if I want to, I can use it to kill things um, like, like specters or ghosts or whatever the hell they're called. Yeah, that's pretty sick. <laughs> I will definitely be keeping that. I'm actually going to run over and get rid of this uh, Dwarven Battle Axe now. That's not, man. That's not bad at all. And that's really well hid fine. hidden. Like, that is that is very well hidden down in there. Because, like, even from the top of the lighthouse there, you would never really notice it. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. I want to sell you this. Very expensive axe for a lot less money than it should be. Do you dislike me? Hold on, cancel. No, you like me a lot. I guess that's just like the base barter price kind of sucks. Of course, my personality score is also extremely low, so that doesn't help anything. Oh, we'll summon skeleton. No, 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 no. We're fine. We, we don't need it. We don't need it. Uh, Divine intervention. There we go. I would like to get a couple more teleport scrolls. Um, see the intervention. I'm guessing that takes us to like the Vec or something. I don't know, but whatever. Teleports are nice. We'll still make 275 gold off of the transaction. And if you don't mind, fill all of my water for me because I'm lazy. And that way I don't have to go down to the thing. What is this? That looks pretty. I don't know why I never noticed that before. It doesn't really do anything special. It just looks really cool. All right, we're going to go outside of town camp so that I can save by my own rules. And I think that's going to be it for tonight, guys. It is after three. I'm admittedly pretty tired. And I need to look up what the hell to do for that, uh, that pilgrimage quest that just didn't work for one reason or another. Uh, miscellaneous. Tent on the ground. I have an axe to grab on a new game when you feel like it. Yeah, honestly, though, man. That's, like I said, that is really, really good. I, I've been playing the game for, what, 25 hours now or something like that? And, uh, sad, but <laughs> that's just as good, if not better, as the, uh, the one that I've been using for quite some time. So... <laughs> I am glad to know about it. Oh, hey, we get a chance to try it out here. Dead. <laughs> GG, rat. I would like to finish my rest, though, if you don't mind. Eh, 10 a.m. sounds good. There we go. Okay, pick up. Eating stuff, because I'll forget to next time if I don't now. Absolutely wreck that, rat. You're not kidding, man. That's like that's the one thing I do like about axes, right? They deal a ton of damage if you hit. The problem is is that it just seems like they hit so rarely. <laughs> Even with uh, me being more or less specced for it. Of course, my build is really dumb because I did the uh, the quiz for my class or whatever. And then I let chat pick my race. So I'm an orcish rogue. <laughs> so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? We're good with axes, but also light armor and short blades. You know, our block skill is a minor skill. <laughs> but we don't use block. I don't know. The whole thing is just like weird. <laughs> but we're making it work. Slowly but surely, the beginning of the game was really freaking rough, although this axe would have made it easier. Uh, besides the point, though. <laughs> the beginning of the game was really rough, but we're we're getting through it, one way or another. D&D Crod story? Hold on. Is that like a... Ah! Nope. Oh, is this just something on Reddit? I was trying to think if that was like a critical role thing or something like that. But no, <laughs> it looks like it's something on Reddit. Um, but anyways, yeah, 
thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I do appreciate you all. Uh, Noodle, of course. Chocobo, I've seen you in the background a little bit. I appreciate you, my guy. Hayes, thank you so much for stopping in, my guy. I do appreciate you coming and chatting with us a little bit while we played. I will be back next week with more Morrowind. Most likely next week is a vacation week, so it might be a little bit weird. But most likely next week with more Morrowind. I'll be back tomorrow thank afternoon you, with uh, some Final Fantasy X. And yeah, thank you so much for the follow, Hayes. I do appreciate that, man. Uh, but yeah, no. Until then, guys, have a wonderful night. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. Actually, doing pretty good now, though. We're up to 471, so real soon we'll take Rue off of...